Oh, man. I knew that would surprise you, but I didn't think I'd scare you that bad. Just about jumped out your own skin. I'd have thought you'd be used to menacing figures pouncing on you from rooftops by now. Hello? You gonna say anything? I set you up perfectly there. You say you haven't pounced on me yet? Then I do. Then you kick me in the shins again. Fun for everyone. Wait. Shit. Can you actually not talk right now? I swear I wasn't planning to off you, I was just teasing. Huh. Wonder what your curse knows that I don't. I mean, I guess it shut you up in the library the other day. And that wolf didn't actually get you. Can't see the future. No one can. I thought it was picking up on intent, but maybe it's something more than that. Because I could eat, and honestly, the adrenaline coursing through you right now is not making you any less tempting. So maybe your curse can tell I'm hungry and is trying to make you an easier snack. Fuck. I really would like to tear into you right now. That curse plays dirty. Which I wouldn't usually mind, but that's not why I'm here. Gotta stay focused. It's getting dark out. Your brother's worried. Let me guess. Something snarfed you when you got thrown into a ditch somewhere for a while? Is that about right? I <sighs> thought so. I told him you probably just got held up, but you know him. If I don't get you back home soon, he's gonna come looking. And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna pop back up if something eats him. So, yeah. Lucky you. I don't have time for a snack. Still no voice, huh? I feel kind of insulted. Your curse clearly doesn't believe in the power of friendship. Or my self-control. Hopefully that sorts itself out before we get to your place. Alright, hop on. Yeah, I see that look. I'm serious. You're not going to make it back there on time on foot, so piggyback it is. You're welcome. Ah, God, this is weird. This whole situation is fucking weird. You good to go? Hanging on tight. Okay, back to the roofs we go. You know, I wouldn't be having to carry you back if you just answered your brother's texts. He says you do this a lot. I get not being able to check your messages when you're dead, but you're alive and kicking right now. And you still can't be bothered to shoot off a quick, I'm okay? Oh, you got your voice back. That's... interesting. wonder what that means. No, I know what my phone's dead means. I meant... You know what I meant. Any chance I can get the tied tongue back? Maybe think really hard about how good you smell and shut you up again. Bummer. Well, babe, charge your fucking phone more often. It's not hard. Uh, no, I wouldn't say I watch a lot of true crime. Not really my thing. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Why are you asking? Yes, I know what a GPS is. Is this just trivia hour, or... Wait. Do the people who kill you drain your phone battery so no one can find your body? Huh, more cleanup than I usually bother with. The most I ever do is steal shit. Not in a creepy way. It's not like a trophy thing for me. But sometimes dinner's got some cool earrings they're not going to be needing anymore. You know? Also cash. I steal cash. Not so much now that I've switched to you based diet, though. Maybe I should consider how that's going to affect my overall income. Hey, college is expensive, babe. I don't have to tell you that. Every little bit helps. Like I care what you think. You're an easy meal ticket. Not my Jiminy fucking cricket. 
Oh god, you're right. I swear I didn't mean to make that rhyme. Why is it so embarrassing to accidentally rhyme shit? I mean, I know it's an irrational feeling. There's no reason I should feel my cold, undead heart shriveling up when I pull an inadvertent Dr. Seuss, but... Nope. I definitely feel like throwing myself to the mercies of the exterminators right now. Perhaps it's that it makes you sound childish. You gotta be really good at poetry for it to not sound trite, and accidental rhymes have exactly zero effort put into them. No one rhymes accidentally and comes out like a scholar. You always sound like a really shitty kid's book about learning to cross the street or some shit. You good back there? Gone kind of quiet. Don't tell me it's the curse again. Yeah, just a few more blocks and we're there. It's faster to go the bird's eye route. I'll drop you off far enough away that your brother won't see me. No shit. As far as he knows, I'm back at my place. I wasn't going to worry him more by saying I was looking for you. Better just get him out the door faster. We're kind of in the same boat there, huh? Neither of us are in any real danger of staying up past dark. And neither of us can tell him that. Life's a bitch. Oh sure, that conversation would go amazingly. Hey best friend, guy who trusts me and invited me into his home. You can stop worrying about me walking by myself at night because I'm way more likely to eat someone else than get eaten. Pass. I told you, I like him. I'm not fucking that up. Alright, here you go. Get your ass home and apologize for making your brother worry. Ah, fuck, my clothes are gonna smell like you all night. Maybe I'll sneak in through your window later. This is gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> Fuck you too, babe. You know, I've got an idea of something I can try next time I drain you, but that can wait. <laughs> Your heart just did a fun little skip there. Someone's nervous about my dinner date plans. Catch you later, babe. <laughs>